Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliances, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliances. Oh my gosh, what an incredible Heroes Day it's been. We had the queen, yes, the queen of sweepstakes, contestqueen.com. And we just had McMurdyLaw.com, Christy McMurdy, the top divorce attorney and Know Your Why. Later on in the show, we're going to have the CEO of Dash Radio. And thank you again, too, for all the feedback that we get for having the president of Big Lots on and the founder, or the chairman, right, the chairman founder of, oh my gosh, there, what was it, Priceline? So many things going on. And again, we appreciate the feedback, but let's get started with our next hero. She was named rising star and one of the hottest models in the world by daily star and that's rachel mccord who could be reached at slay the she's been featured in top magazine and outlets including vogue forbes people glamour I got to ask you, Rachel, when did you know you had made it and being, you know, just part of the top models? Oh, my gosh. You are so sweet. Well, I mean, I think that, to be honest, you never quite make it in this industry. You're always growing. You're always evolving. So, I mean, I'm so grateful for everything. But to be honest, like, I wouldn't say, like, you know, I've made it because there's so much more I want to do. Well, you're also, too, is, is the author of Slay the Fame Game, which people could reach you at slaythefamegame.com. And this is based, I believe, on your eight years in traditional and digital entertainment. What are two to three of those secrets from the book that you could share with, well, me and our listeners? That's such a great question, David. So basically, the first thing I would say is to believe in yourself. I think it's the first thing a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of talent and creatives overlook. They get so busy thinking about what they're going to do. They forget that they have to believe in themselves and have that passion that just transcends. And then also creating a fabulous brand for yourself. So knowing what you want to stand for, what you want your message to be to the world, and how exactly you're going to go about doing it. So that would lead to the third note, which is basically to find the platform that speaks the best for your audience and also for the message that you want to say. And push it. Stay focused on it. Don't get caught up in the numbers. Just keep growing and keep making your content be something that inspires and encourages others. When did you get uh, when did you get started in the whole model industry? To be honest, I actually started modeling when I was 13 in Georgia, which is where I'm from. And I grew up in trailer parks in Georgia, right? So there was always this dream that I had to change my stars. But I didn't think it was going to be something in the entertainment business. I actually just wanted to help people and encourage them to go for their dreams. So when I came to Hollywood, I actually just came out to be my sister's biggest supporter. And I kind of learned a lot about the industry. I connected with a lot of people. I made a lot of friends. So then when social media took off, I basically was like, you know what? I can use social media to encourage more people to go for it. In fact, let's talk about that. In your, in your book, you, you talk about some of the subjects like getting covered by press outlets. Now, how many impressions have you had in the last 12 months? Um, it's been a little bit over $1.5 billion. $1.5 billion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> incredible. Thank you. Well, you know, to be honest, I, I, I really had some incredible people come along with me in my journey. I mean, I definitely, I definitely feel incredibly blessed. But at the same time, I don't feel like it's all me. I think that it's definitely a community effort. I was really intentional about loving on Hollywood, helping people who are trying to get their start helping people who are going at it and just need encouragement. And that's where my book kind of came in. I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter what industry you're in, whether you want to be a, a movie star, a social media influencer, or the head of a fabulous company like yourself, David. It's like you need to be, you need to have that cheerleader who's saying, you've got this, go for it. Here are some tips to help you play the game, how to network and how to grow. And again, we're talking with Rachel McCord. One of the hottest females in the world from according to Daily Star and been featured in top magazines and outlets. And you're listening to the Alliance's Hero Show with me, David Kogan. Be a hero. Go to where entrepreneurs align. It is the only community where entrepreneurs align. And you can go to alliances.com. That's E L I 
A-N-C-E-S.com to be part of that community. And Rachel, 1.5 billion impressions in the last 12 months. Incredible. And you're also, too, you work with brands such as Showtime, Coca-Cola, and Glam Squad. I mean, those are big names. Thank you. I mean, I have so much fun. I learned so much from just sitting down with founders, attending conferences, speaking on panels with incredible people. I'm so grateful because, honestly, I think that in life you need to always grow and you need to always find ways to educate yourself and evolve. And I think that in social media you have that opportunity. Whatever industry you choose, you get to have access to these incredibly smart people. Like on this show, people can tune in and learn so much about business. I think it's just a beautiful way to pull it all together. And that's not all. I mean, you're also a producer of The Rachel McCord Show, From Trailer Parks to Red Carpets. Talk to us about what that show is. Well, that's been a lot of fun because, honestly, I love to bring – to life all of the things I talk about on my blog or all of the things that I cover in my book I thought about it and I was like you know there's so many people who will reach out to me and want to get advice to build their brand so why not just invite them to come on the show and talk about what they're doing so we're releasing it this this winter which I'm really excited about so we've been filming in a studio with Focus TV over the past couple months and we've really gotten that voice to say, what do people care about? What do people need to hear? What do they need to be inspired by? And how do we take what we're doing every single day in Hollywood and create it on a platform where people can download on iTunes and actually hear it wherever you are in the world and be inspired? And Rachel, tell me too, what you learned from living in the trailer parks that you've taken with you now? Oh, I love that question. Um, To be honest with you, David, I've learned that it doesn't matter where you come from, what you have, what you don't have, who's believed in you, who hasn't. You can make it. If you believe in yourself, you work hard, you build a brand for yourself, and you push, and you go for it, and you reach out to people. Like, I have so many people who reach out to me on my Instagram or on my blog and will say, hey, Rachel, can you give me some advice? And I've done the same thing. And I think being willing to say, you know what, I don't have it all figured out. I didn't come from money. I didn't come from a background where you would think that I would be successful. And I think that that's kept me really humble. And that's why I say, you know what, I haven't made it because I will know I've made it when I when I'm at my at the end of my life and I can look back and say you know what I'm leaving a legacy that I'm proud of I've helped people and I've helped them dream, pursue their dreams that's what matters more to me and if you were speaking to a group of young girls you know and, and everyone is including men including women and men you know are, are very conscious about their looks I mean they are what would you want to share with them that they could take out into the world with them uh, and help them grow and to lead the path and not, you know, use excuses of, well, you know, I don't have money. I can't do this, can't do that, because clearly you were able to do it. Well, I think, to be honest with you, the word I love to fall back on is slay. I feel for the millennial, the Gen Z girl, which are the girls that I speak to every single day, whether I'm on a stage or I'm in my blog or on my social media, and I tell them, you were born to slay. So that's what I would tell them. I would say, you know what? Don't, don't sell yourself short. Do not back down. Speak up. Be confident and know that, you know what? Slaying is so much bigger than how you look, how you, how you dress, how you act. It's, it's how you feel. It's that confidence. It's that smile that, that takes your, your life to the next level. And there has to be that place where you say, you know what, I may not be where I want to be yet, but I'm going to sit in this spot where I'm at with the power and the confidence that I will make it because that's what gets you there. Well, Rachel, you lead with authenticity, passion, and grace. You teach others to follow in the footsteps of your incredible branding and navigating the world of super talented people. That's a hero. Rachel McCord, you could reach her at slaythefamegame.com. And when we return, the CEO of Dash Radio, David Kogan with Eliances. Eliances. 